King Sugarfoot. Welcome back to From Head to Curve, our plus size fashion and lifestyle community. I am getting ready to head to an event this morning. It's actually an event in Market Street. You guys have seen me shoot there before. It's been a while since I've shot there, but I just realized I don't have any lips. But I'm actually gonna get ready to head there. They are going to do my hair at the dry bar. Um, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> I've actually asked if there was a black stylist there. They said they have a person there that is good with hair texture. That's not what I asked, but we will see how it goes. Um, textured hair is what she said. Uh, so we'll see how it goes. Um, and I brought stuff just in case because if it's not looking right, then I'm just gonna head back to my car and do my hair. I'm actually kind of proud of my outfit because I got on color, it's like bright and whatnot. It's a little chilly here, surprisingly. I don't know why, because it's whole spring. So let me show you guys what I'm wearing. So here is the outfit. I have on this top from Sofia Vergara's collection with Walmart. Um, so this is a bodysuit, actually. I'll call it a top, but it's a bodysuit. Uh, the jeans are Ava and Viv from Target. I'm wearing Vince Camuto. Uh, padded strap sandals from QVC and this blazer is from Eloquy and all of my jewelry come on uh, it's twisted hold on all of my jewelry rings and whatnot is from Kendra Scott actually this is from 1111 by Adrian Bylon's line my sister got me that for Christmas and the rest is from Kendra Scott so here's the whole outfit and I'm actually going to wear this um, Rebecca Minkoff Eddie tote that is like crossbody. I'm gonna put that on. I need lighter bags to go with lighter looks, but I think this is fine. I think black goes with everything, even with color. So I'm gonna wear this. Girl, I'm already late, like running late. I'm not late, but I'm running late to leave. I wanted to leave like an extra 20, give myself an extra 20 minutes to get there. Like right now, I think I'm gonna have an extra 10 minutes to get there, so let me go, girl.
drought of nightfall Running in search of the remedy Trying to find her place She ran to the west side And though much was stolen Much still abides And I know she'd rather keep her distance But as time moves on She's drifting away Drifting away from me But did the ocean So I'm going through, I wish I brought my stand because now I don't know what y'all can sit on. Hold on, let me try to make shift a tripod or something so y'all can see. Oh, hey girl, I have you sitting on my purse. Hello. <laughs> okay, so I'm going through, the, okay, as you see, I've had to put my hair up in a ponytail. I kind of had a feeling that whatever style was done was not going to take. Um, it was cute while it lasted but it didn't last long it literally probably lasted an hour and a half if you are somebody that doesn't have like super coarse hair like myself or um or extremely like 4c or anything like that then maybe the dry bar is for you i met the owner she was really nice um and she me and her chatted they did have some nice stuff there they're very nice and if you want to try it out for your hair it'd definitely be fine um so yeah check them out i have i'm in market street now i'm looking to see what i got so i got in some goodie bags i got this cute pin market street i usually come here it's in the woodlands i usually come here to like shoot or if i want to go to kendra scott because they have a kendra scott here and if i want to go to what i be wanting to do oh if i go to like pot bellies because that's good they have a starbucks here they have a maestro's here and it is really good this is my first time tasting it i was actually supposed to go there maestro's maestro i don't know if it's maestro's or maestro's it might be maestro's i don't know but um i went i was supposed to go there for a birthday dinner but i didn't get a chance to go but i went there to try some things that they had i tried their bacon pork bacon girl and some kind of butter cake they got sis oh it's so good oh, i got a kendra scott goodie y'all know i love ken hey ken ken it's actually something in here let's see what we got girl we got oh is this a necklace oh we got a necklace isn't that nice 
It is the, I don't know the name of it, but I'll probably link it, but yeah. Girl, I have a whole bunch of Kendra stuff, so she gets coin. Anyway, thanks, Ken. Thank you so much, guys. So that is the Kendra Scott thing. I got three goodie bags, so I might as well go through them here with y'all while I'm in the car. I'm kind of slightly cooling off, and Felicia is getting the keys to her place today. Oh, this is a cute. Is this like a wine stopper or something like that? I don't drink, so I don't know. But it looks like it is. That's cute. With a nice top. And then there is a, I think this is the gift card to Mestros. Mestros, Mestros. It is a Market Street. Ooh, gift card for $100. Where can I use it though? Anywhere in Market Street? Ooh, car bands, $100. Look like I'm going to Maestro's this weekend. <laughs> I was already thinking like, what am I gonna do this weekend to kind of top last weekend? Because me and Justine had so much fun in Kendra Scott. Wrong, we weren't in Kendra Scott. Where were we at? Girl. We were at, um, girl, where were we at? Oh my God. Oh, Restoration Hardware. <laughs> I couldn't think of the place. Restoration Hardware is where we were, the furniture store. We had a good time there. And I didn't film it for YouTube. I do have a reel from when we went there. So if you guys are interested in seeing the um, like interior design stuff and furniture and all of that that we came across, then that is the place. So this is from the dry bar. We got some goodies from the dry bar. Um, Some finishing spray. I don't know what this is. Hydrating hydrating treatment um big swig thickening spray don't need that and yeah <laughs> and i think some like a treatment thing there might be something else in here i think this is a hair mask or something Ooh restorative replenishing treatment for compromised skin hmm it's a sheet mask okay I might use that and this is from Thomas Markle and jewel jewelers Ooh, Thomas Markle Markle jewelers so um oh it's a nice card Welcome to the family. Let's give a card of their history and things. Ooh, got $100 off. Hello. Oh, money off on jewelry. So I got that. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Jewelry cleaner. Oh, I need this. Oh, this is going to go straight in the closet with my jewelry and my accessory. Um, drawer. And I got a nice little jewelry case. Isn't this cute? Like a little traveling case for my jewelry. This is actually very cute. I've got the little on the inside part, you know what I'm saying? Got this. Oh, that is so cute. I definitely need needed some of that. Because I usually like throw my jewelry in a... <laughs> this is so country. Don't judge me. I usually throw my jewelry in a sandwich bag. <laughs> Girl, I act like I'm not, I act like I don't have money to to do stuff with. I just, you know. That was the time that I spent, I, I can bring y'all back up. I'm sorry, now that I'm not opening up cases. Yeah, I had a good time spending uh, time with, met some new friends here, met some new influencers, because I really don't have a lot of blogger friends here. I have my best friend Troy, and then Justine B, y'all know her, and then family, but, and then like, you know, other friends that I've had before, but I really don't have a lot of friends in my industry. So it was nice to meet some ladies and actually like it be introduced and see each other. And then maybe I can hang out with them later on. Cause you know, it's just nice to be seen sometimes. Anyways, um, yeah, y'all, I had a good time and I'm not new to Market Street, but I'm new to what they're doing. So it's good to know that they are 
um, doing things and if I've been we've been in some stores and a restaurant that I've never been in so that was nice and yeah I think I may go and look at my houses again because I love looking at my houses when I come around this way so I think I may go and look at those again some of you guys asked what are those houses that you look at every time you come to the woodlands it's East Shore East Shore is the, is the name of the neighborhood and there's like all kinds of houses in between there so I may go and look at those you've seen them so much that I don't think I'm going to record it but yeah so there's that <laughs> um, but I think I'll talk to y'all later I don't know what else I'm doing today outside of like going to see Felicia's place and then um like maybe getting a little bit of work done but I do want to get into some things this weekend so we may do some filming on that so I don't know anyways let me go and do some looking at some houses because I just want to. Hey Sugarfoot, about to head out to get my lashes done and get a refill on these nails because it is now two weeks and it's time for me to get those done. I hope you guys enjoyed the little rendition that I put of the clips that we did or, or where we went out to eat on Saturday. I'm Maria. You can see it. It's Maria. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed those clips uh, because I didn't bring my camera because i just wanted to like be there eating and not vlogging but i did do some footage for like a little reel or whatnot so i just have on one of my um lux tops from old navy the oversized lux top and then these are older leggings from 
either Old Navy or Lane Bryant. I don't remember. I have to look it up. I feel like they're from Lane Bryant. But I'm just gonna put on some slides because I'm going to get my um, toes done and my nails done after I get my lashes done by uh, my lash, Lashes Maria. Oh, this is what the hair is looking like. She's growing back. It's getting longer, thankfully, so I'm excited about that. Um, I was watching Monroe while getting ready. But yeah, so we're about to go ahead and head out. We as in you and me, so let's go. Child, I feel like I haven't talked to y'all in 50 of them Sundays. <laughs> I, it's now nighttime now that you see. I think the last time I shot something, it was smooth morning. I think it was before nine o'clock this morning. <laughs> but I have since started editing this video, got up to the point of like, that I'm done with that portion of the video um, so that when I add some more footage, all I have to do is add that. And I just rested for the rest of the day. Like instead of posting on like social media, Girl, I just pretty much rested. Like, oh yeah, I did do emails this morning. Forgot I had to talk to people. But anywho, yeah, I hope you guys liked um, the nails. They came out so good, girl. I actually found this design on Amazon because I wanted at first some tiger stripes, but I couldn't find tiger stripes that I liked that weren't like too busy. Um, so then I just looked up nail designs, came across like, I just went through the images, found a nail design that I liked, clicked on it. There were press on nails that were available on Amazon. So I was like, big girl, do these. I'm actually about to do my hair. I actually have like crease and stuff in the middle because of 
constantly putting my hair up in a ponytail and then my hair is kind of like frizzed up a little bit since it's been pressed last at the dry bar from the previous Friday. Now it's Thursday, whole Thursday. Girl, it's hot, hold on. So yeah, it's been almost an entire week since I've got my hair straightened and now it's frizzed up a bit. So I'm gonna kind of go through, touch it up, maybe add some curls so that when I wrap it, and wake up in the morning um it's good to go oh yeah guys so i'm trying out my new straightener y'all have heard me say many a times that i have wanted to upgrade the straightener this is the one i was using it is by lioness i don't even think this is a company anymore y'all i have looked <laughs> i've tried to look up their products again and unless they don't pop back onto the internet I have not been able to find them, but I stopped a long time ago. But yeah, I'm trying out the T3. Jaleesa Yvonne had a ton of T3 products and I've heard how good they are, how fast they are in um, heating up and how the ceramic um, panels are very good at protecting their hair, preventing it from breaking and all of that good stuff that stylists actually pay attention to. And I wanted something that was curvy because this is the, Flat iron I have, first of all, look at the gunk. Actually, if you guys don't know, you can actually clean this off, like get your flat iron looking brand new with relaxer. Yes, your leftover TCB, is TCB still a company? Wow. Your leftover Just For Me or Dark and Lovely relaxers that you've been leaving up in the uh, shelves, you can actually get the little bit of it and put it on the edges and around everything on your flat iron while it's hot and wipe it off, looks brand new. We did that back in cosmetology school, girl. I have not done it since, but I know it works. We did it all the time to clean our straighteners um, in cosmetology school, but yeah. So I am, uh, yeah, I like the fact that, the whole reason why I'm saying that, I like the fact that this is more curved. So when I can try to do my curls, it can actually curl, you know what I'm saying? I've gotten good at doing my curls with this finally because it took a minute for me to get the hang of it. Like you gotta, you gotta get your hands in the right position. You gotta get, you gotta do that thing. You can't be scared about it. Um, so I finally got that right. So hopefully it doesn't take long. Um, or take any time at all. And like, I'm gonna have bit rolls and more stuff. Me. So yeah, um, but yeah, hopefully it doesn't take any time at all for me to adjust to this. So I am gonna go ahead and plug this up so I can get started on my her. And actually T3 is having a family and friends sale, which is why I wanted to try it now because I wanted to let you, if anyone is in the market of upgrading their straightener while they're having their uh, family and friends sale, something you can go out and get without having to pay full price. Y'all know I'm all about saving a couple coins or two. You know, come on, a couple coins or two. <laughs> I'm hilarious. So I'm gonna try this out. If you're thinking about it, don't do nothing until you see me try this out and whether you like it or not from there, then make your guess. I don't wanna bring nothing to y'all that I haven't tried out and like myself. So we're gonna try it out on camera. Um, I'm going to get my hair ready. Y'all, it is randomly hot right now. I didn't read no instructions. I hope I don't have to. Oh, here we go. Ooh, it's a little power button here. Ain't that cute? And it's lighting up and stuff. I wonder how many, I'm gonna just let it do its thing. I don't like, I wonder if it's just one heat setting. I really don't like reading stuff that comes to box. I just, I'm not about that life. <laughs> one minute. Thank God there was a little quick start because what I don't want to do is get in no novel. So it is for different types of hair. They have the setting based on the type of hair. Of course, I'm coarser, um, more <laughs> prone to be resistant hair. So apparently you double tap to adjust to, oh, there you go, there you go, there you go, to get the highest setting. Um, you know, see before it was like down here. So I double tapped it until it got to the highest setting, which will be the hottest setting. And from there, I'll kind of like test one strand and see, um, and then figure out whether I need to go a little lower. So it's really nice and white and sleek. It's all cute and stuff. Girl, I'm gonna sit her on the side. And I like how this moves. So ain't, oh Lord, what I just did? I accidentally touched it. Oh, okay, it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> So that is good. Let me get this box out the way so I can handle my business. These things are not cheap. My original iron flat iron or straightener wasn't cheap. I think I paid, paid about as much for my old straightener as much as this T3 is. So, 
And that straightener lasted me from college. I am 32. <laughs> Mind you, I go to college when I was 18. I think I might have gotten it like the last couple of years I was in college. So if this is anything like it, which I've heard that they are, their products last long, that it will last you a while. So it's not something like, these. it costs so much. Why all of that for a straightener? You try to go buy a straightener every year. Oh, girl, y'all, I have been watching Finding Anna, Inventing Anna. That's what it is. I've been, <laughs> I've been calling that show Finding Emma like Finding Nemo. <laughs> Finding M Anna and something about something I'm like Anna something. What's that show called? <laughs> Girl, I have been watching that. And honestly, at first, come on, Dandruff. I really need to get some more uh of my dandrosol shampoo and conditioner. But girl, I have been watching that. It is outlandish outlandish how this girl mind you i'm only on episode four and i love the fact that it's an hour honey i'm so tired of like binge watching something and it'd be like 20 minutes and they talking about some eight 20 minute episodes girl that ain't no binge that's a that's a i'm changing the channel and i just happen to catch the whole show in the midst of you know talk about some binge who started that <laughs> but yeah, like back in Frasier days, they used to have like 20 some odd episodes in one season. Girl, now they be like, you you look if you get six to eight episodes out of us. <laughs> yeah. You're lucky if you get 10. If you get 10, you're like, oh, this is good. You're so excited. No, <laughs> like six to eight episodes is usually the average of what it looks like. Oh, got my chi. This is the Silk Infusion um, Chi product that I use heat protect and it also helps with hair texture allowing your stuff to glide through ever so nicely put that on your ends like so like that and actually I apply it to the as much to the roots as I can too because who wants straight roots curly ends <laughs> so yeah girl it is it is so crazy watching that show it's actually it's like hilarious and astonishing. Every time that girl busts out in a ping, like she about to cry, I say, oh God, dog. <laughs> All the time. All the time. Because, like, why are you crying? You have no reason to cry. Those tears are so clear. Because they ain't never been through much. They ain't been through no pain, no strife, no trials or tribulations. <laughs> you got some clear tears. I'm going to take that with me to my 60s. Take that with me in my 60s. Clear tears. What does clear tears mean? That mean you ain't ever been through enough. Them tears ain't ain't fogged up with trials and tribulations and, and and pain and struggle. You got regular people tears. Ooh, the silkness. That was so fun <laughs> and easy. Oh my gosh. I feel spoiled. Oh my goodness, that that felt really good. I'm honestly not lying. <laughs> I've been using an old straightener for so long that the smallest, the first time using the the new straightener, it feels like uh, pure gold. It feels amazing. Girl, let me do the rest of my hair. But that felt good. That felt really good. It felt so easy to go through. Let me, let me try that on a thicker piece. I'm not like doing it extremely, like doing extremely thin sections since all I'm really trying to get is my volume and um, kind of keep calm. Oh, let me get, oh, okay, I'm sorry. Let me do this part, this one, because you guys can probably see this one a little better. Okay. Girl, you can't tell me nothing. Hold on, let me see. Let me test one. Oh no, start over, start over, start over. I know I normally don't do this. All that second pass stuff, I don't do that. But girl, oh, that one was a little rough. We're gonna do it again. But it like look at the curl. And it passed through so 
I'm I'm happy in life right now, honey. I'm happy in life. I am happy in life. That felt good. I, I, it's worth it. It's worth it. I will say it's worth it. If you do decide to get this, I'll put the link in the description. If you do decide to check out their products, they have uh, that family and friends, friends sale going on right now. Girl, you better get you a discount. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't think it's strictly within the Like to Know It app. For those that follow me on Like to Know It to shop all of my suggestions and stuff, I don't think it's strictly on there. I think this is their entire website. That was so easy. You saw that girl? Easy. Oh, that was nice. But girl, back to the show. Oh, again, 20% off family and friends sale. I'll put that link below. But girl, back to the show. Anna's out here stealing people money. If you have, Spoiler alert. If you have not seen it or you're in the middle of watching it, you may want to skip this section because I'm going to talk about it, okay? Girl, Anna out there still in planes. Anna is like, how do you steal a whole jet? Talk to me about it. One, y'all know I like to binge stuff, right? So when I saw this, I was like, come on, social media, this, this, you know, just somebody out here trying to be rich or whatever, you know. Uh did I curl that? Okay. Yeah, it's just somebody out here trying to be rich. I'm gonna turn this down one notch. Yeah, I'm gonna turn it down one notch. I don't think I need to be like super, super high since I'm not at the the course setting. I'm gonna let it cool off a little bit. But girl, uh, that is so easy, y'all. Oh my goodness. And I don't know if you guys heard me talk about this before, but when you get these curls and then wrap your hair, Thank me later. But as I let this cool off, let's do, let's do two notches, my bad, y'all. Okay. Um, but girl, she out here still in planes. She got a $40 million loan. How did you get the bank? I'm only, I just ended on the fourth episode. I haven't stopped, wait, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. I it just ended the fourth episode. So it's just so much that happened in that episode that I'm like, girl, how? How do you get a bank to open an account for you? Because they feel that they have inconvenienced you by not giving you a $40 million loan. So what they do is they open up a, an account for you, give you $200,000 in the brand new account as in like an inconvenience fee, which ultimately solidifies you getting a loan by being able to put down a $100,000 deposit on the other bank that is willing to give you the $40 million loan, but they wanted you to put down like, I say deposit, I don't know what they called it, but it's pretty much a deposit, $100,000 something. Good faith something. Girl, it is so, you know, it is so beautiful in this world for somebody, you know, I'm not gonna say that. But girl, <laughs> When I saw that, I was like, I was flabbergasted. And then I'm glad that the the lady, um, I don't she, I guess she worked with another lending company or bank or a lawyer or something like that. And she talked about why um, Alan, I guess his name was, I think, was so adamant about giving her or giving her this chance. And I'm, you're thinking like he just really is bending over backwards for her, but he's really gaining money, like. I knew lawyers build you by the hour, but he's like, girl, I want you to get this loan. I want you to work. I want you to go through all of this and I want you to get to the other side of it so you can build your business, so you can build more locations, so I can bill you at $2,000 an hour. And he can bring that profitable client and then of course get a promotion, which one, makes him be able to charge what more than $2,000 an hour And I wanted to be a lawyer, but you know what stopped me? I said, y'all changed the law too much and I'm not gonna keep up on that. I'm not doing that. <laughs> I'm not doing that. Y'all ain't gonna have me up trying to stay on the latest just because I got a case coming up and y'all got, no, absolutely not. <laughs> it's just, it's the little things that stop me. I'm like, oh, I'd be a good lawyer because I feel like I can argue the fact because I ask so many questions. 
I'm not a, I'm not good at arguing. I'm not a good arguer. I was shut down. But I ask a lot of questions. And I feel like I would be a good detective, a good lawyer, stuff like that. Detective, they wanted you to do a certain fitness test to be a cop. I was like, no. The lawyer, um, I know they read. I read anyway, but I want to do it for um, recreation, not for work. <laughs> so, like, I read emails. Yeah, but they're not books. Like, I read... I want to keep that recreational. Lawyers have to read too much. And they have to argue and be like quick. I think my wit isn't as quick as a lawyer. And girl, they, uh, what was it? I wanted to be a nurse, but then I found out that, which was in, uh, apparently good for me to find out otherwise I would have went for it. And then I would have been going through everything that the nurses have been, had to go through during COVID. But I wanted to be a nurse and decided to change that because I heard that they couldn't have acrylic nails. And I was like, no, I'm not giving no, who told y'all that? I'm not doing that. But later on, I found out that it was okay for them to have acrylic nails, but I had already changed my, I had already decided on doing an accounting major. <laughs> so it's fine. <laughs> if you have not watched that uh, show, Finding Anna and Vincent Anna, here I go again. Um, girl, watch that show. It is so good. Again. I'm just in the first four episodes, but it is very worth it. Very worth it. So anyway, y'all, I've been doing better by getting out more. Um, I'm very proud of myself. Uh, me and Justine have, oh, this is a little too thick. It's actually defeat the purpose. Me and Justine have, uh, and Troy, best friend Troy, have been actually getting out, having dinners and whatnot, meeting up, so that's fun. And we're actually still planning a trip. Excited. I really don't want to tell y'all where we're going. It's not far. It's literally in the US. But I don't want to tell y'all where we're going. Not like I don't want y'all to know where we're going. I just want it to be a surprise. I just want to just pop up there and y'all be like, oh my god, girl, you there. Because I haven't taken a trip in since 2018, I think, when I went to New York during Fashion Week. That was the last time I took a trip. So it has been a minute and I kind of want to like definitely dip in these streets. Anyway. I want to watch another episode before going to bed. I've been reading this book, uh, Atomic Habits, which is really good. Literally, I say it's really good. I'm just literally in the intro, <laughs> but it's so good so far. And I kept have kept hearing so many good things about it, about how people talk about it. it's something that they've been uh, that really helped them be able to create much better habits in their business and their lives. And all of that and lord knows i need discipline that's something that i really need to work on this year is having better discipline and i said i was gonna work on that and it's quarter two i still got time <laughs> but yeah that's something i really need to work on but yeah i'm reading that book and i'm gonna be in chapter one today <laughs> come on <laughs> chapter one but i want to see because I've done so much working that I haven't done a whole lot of... Okay, girl, what's happening? Oh, I twisted it. I've done so much working that I haven't done as much reading as I should uh, or have or used to. So, yeah, these I'm parting too thick. It's being a mess. It feels good to get caught up on my reading again and actually enjoy it like now i want to find some good i'm i'm i don't know what it is but british films british shows all of the good like servants quarters type stuff re i really enjoy that um so i really want to find a good book like that so if anyone knows holler at your girl i would love to like the type of british shows i'm talking about is like downton abbey uh gilded age those kind of British shows. What was that other one that I watched? It was so good, but they only had one season of it. It was like, oh my gosh, I forgot the name of the show, but it was so 
good. I messed that all the way up. It was so good. But they only had one season of it. It was some it was by the same person. It was by Julian that did the um the Gilded Age and Downton Abbey. But it was so good. I don't remember the name of it. They only had one season and it was amazing. But like stuff like that. I really love to watch things like that. So I'm gonna do the other side. I ain't gonna hold y'all. I'm gonna do the other side. This is how it came out. It's so good. Like the curls are weightless, straight. And I can just wrap this and go on about my business. So I'm gonna do the other side and I'm gonna catch up with y'all in a little bit. So I'm Ashley and I approved this message. Um, this Lucia straightener is definitely worth it. Definitely the best. I would definitely say to go get this during the friends and family sale. I'll have the link if you guys are only, not just don't be buying it, just be buying it. Um, only get it if you're in the market for a new straightener because my hair needed something that will allow me to straighten it more easily and that's your girl it's definitely girl so i can't wait to see how it does when my hair is like at its natural state like i've just shampooed and blow dried it and see how it kind of like does it which i it should do pretty well i had it two notches below the highest setting for the remainder of the hair and i'm about to wrap it y'all it looks so good but thank you guys so much for watching the spend the week with me i hope you guys enjoyed it please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up so that we can grow and go honey we can uh grow a lot more and i'll be able to do a lot more for you guys um in whatever way that looks so thank you guys so much i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you on the next one bye